We actually just finished this, but I thought I'd show you again. In step 12, it asks us to format the range E20, so I'm going to highlight cell E2, not E20, to E30, and make it a percent style number format. So I'm going to come up here to number. I'm going to take my pull down minute, menu and I'm going to go to percentage style. And now we have our numbers multiplied by 100 and we have a percent at the end. I'm going to save and that's the end of step 12. Step 13, add a total row to display the average of percent of stickers. We're right here. I'm going to decrease this a little bit so you can see where I'm going. I'm going to come on down beneath percent of stickers row and I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller so you can see. Hopefully, maybe a little bit bigger. And I'm going to click in cell E31. Now it's asking us to do average. I can come to my home tab or my formula tab and go to auto sum. And once I've clicked underneath that column, I can click average. By doing so, Excel adds an interactive table row to that whole last row of 31 and makes each, um, each row able to give you a total or an average. I can click here in the next cell and I can click my pull down menu and make a sum for my sales price. And I can click the next cell and make a sum for my sticker price. Pretty nifty. Save, end of step 13. 14. Auto fit the columns of B to E. I'm going to highlight B to E and I'm going to come over here on the Home tab and I'm going to come over to Format and I'm going to click Column with Auto Fit. I click that. I go sure and make sure I save. And that Excel makes it so all data is readable and not hidden. And that's the end of step 14. Step 15, apply a solid blue fill data bars conditioning to the percent of data sticker price. So I'm going to click cell E30 and highlight all the way up to cell E30. Two. Then on my home tab, I'm going to come to conditioning formatting. I'm going to go to data bars and I'm going to pick solid fill blue data bars. And we easily have a visual view in color of what our data means. 100% the cell is all the way colored across. 60% the cell is a little bit over halfway colored across. That's in the end of step 15. Please save. Step 16. Select the range E2 to E30. And create a new conditioning formatting rule that uses the formula to apply a yellow fill, blue font, I mean bold font, and shows what has sold for less than or equal to 70%. We're going to come up on the Home tab to Conditioning Formatting, and we're going to click Highlight Rules. We have all sorts of choices, but most of these choices are only one condition. We've actually been asked to. We've been asked to create a formula that shows us a less than or equal to 70%. So we're going to click More Rules, and then in the format only cells with value, we're going to click here and go all the way down to less than or equal to. And then we will type 70% in our format cells. And now we're going to go color it. It asks us to format with both a bold and a yellow fill. So we'll click format and we'll come over here and we'll go bold for the font and then we'll get to fill and we'll pick yellow for fill and then we go OK and OK and you see this is equal to 70 percent 
and this is less than 70%. And that's the end of step 16.